Hello, this is Haka Dabin, and I am here with more Stephanie Cthulhu Mythos. This time we are going over Azdoth, also known as the Great Dreamer. We'll go over this creature's other titles in just a minute. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into this now. Outside the ordered universe is that amorphous blight of nethermost confusion which bless which bless me is in bubbles at the center of all infinity. The boundlet is Damon and Su Alton as a thought, whose name no lips dare speak out loud, and who gnaws hungrily in inconceivable unlighted chambers beyond time and space, admits a of what maddening in beating of vile drums and the thin monotonous whine of accursed flutes. From the Dream of Unknown Kadat. As thought, sometimes called the Blind Idiot God, the Nuclear Chaos, the Demon Sultan, the Deep Dark, the, and the Cold One is a fictional deity in the Cthulhu Mythos, portrayed as an outer god and a, and a supreme omnipotent being. Let's go ahead and read this information over here. As all is also known as the Blind Idiot God, Nuclear or Chaos, Damon Sultan, Abyssal Idiot, Lord of All, Him in the Gulf, the Deep Dark, the Cold One, Sleeping Chaos, Supreme Lord and Creator of All Things, Blind Dreamer, King of All, Immortal Devil, I don't know if that's a bad word, Chaos Sultan, Alchemoth, Wow, Vak Varaj. He was born, well, immortal, and he doesn't die because he's immortal. He was born primordial, which basically means before irrelevant and time could be recorded. He's from outside reality. His powers and abilities include dreaming up the reality we live in. His offspring include Yola. Atotep, the darkness, I literally can't even say that, the nameless mist, Yag, Aksothoth, Shub, I'm not saying the rest, Nug and Yeb, Wilbur Awaitly, Cthulhu, and Sat Agia. His affiliation is an outer god, his species is an outer god, his first appearance is in H.P. Lovecraft's The Dream of Unknown Kadat. <clears throat> he has appearances in H.P. Lovecraft's The Dream of Unknown Kadat, The Dream in the Witch House, The Thing on the Doorstep, The Haunter of the Dark, and another author who I still don't know who they are, AWD. Let's actually find out their name. I am not going to bother. Too much work. The lurker at the threshold, he XP's the Azathoth cycle, and the insects from Shagai, I Ramsey and Bell. Anyway, if we continue, description. There could be no definite description of Azathoth because every day. Because everybody envisions him differently, and he is always changing. For example, Ronald Shea enters Ronald Shea enters the temple after visiting the forest near Oldswood and discovers a twenty-foot idol that represented the god Asdoth, as as he had been before his exile ex outside. It consists of a a vibe over your shell for many pairs of flexible legs. From the half-open shell, grow several jointed cylinders, tipped with at the poly. Uh, is appendages, and in the darkness inside the shell, I thought I saw a horrible, obesity, mouthless face with deep sunk eyes, covered with glistening black hair. 
Later. I'm guessing Shia, but they've misspelled it. Weird for a wiki to do that. See something ooze into the corridor, or of hell gray shape expanding and crinkling, which glistened and shook gelatinously as still moving particles was dropped free. But it was only a glimpse. According to some accounts, it's a huge sentient black hole. A restless guide to interdimensional entities. <sighs> In the Necronomicon, as thought as a significant malign and presence. And the Necronomicon as both Albert Earth Wilmworth, H.P. Lovecraft's The Whisper in Darkness, and Walter Gilman, H.P. Lovecraft's The Dream in the Witch House, are horrified at the mere mention of its name, having both read about it in the occult tone. In Gilman's case, it's the witch, it, it's the witch, it's Isaiah Mason, who references as thought while haunting his dreams, telling him, He must meet the black man and go with them. Am all to the throne of Asloth at the center of ultimate chaos. Of course, H.P. Lovecraft would be absolutely terrified of a black man, wouldn't he? Makes sense. Anyway, he must sign in his own blood the Book of Asloth and take a new secret name, which kept him go from going with us to the throne of chaos, where the thin flute with pipe mindlessly was the fact that he had seen the name Asloth and knew it stood for probable horror or too horrible for a description. In uh, August, Sterlitz re-enditioned re the Necronomicon for Strays as thought as a leader in a cosmic upheaval, akin to Lucifer's rebellion in the Bible and prophecy is his return. Those daring to oppose the e Elder Gods who ruled from uh, um, Betogius, the great old ones who fought against the other gods, were instructed by Asdoth, who is a blind idiot god, and by Yog Sothoth, you blind idiot god, ye noxious Asdoth, which shall rise, shall rise from ye middle of the world where all is chaos and destruction, where he hath bubbled and blasphemed, and blasphemed at the at ye center of which is all, of all things, which is to say, infinity. The lurker at the threshold. I have not read these stories, by the way. I do not know them at all. I'm just having fun. In the mythos, Gilman wakes up from another dream, remembering the thin, monotone piping of an un unseen flute, and decides that he had picked up a last conception from what he had read in the Necronomicon about the mindless entity, Azathoth, which rules all time and space from a curiously inspired black throne at the center of chaos. He later fears finding himself in the spiral of like forces of that ultimate void of chaos where it right and the mindless is same as Sultan Azathoth. The poet at Edward Aaron Pickman Derby wrote a collection of nightmare lyrics called Azathoth and Other Horrors from H.P. Lovecraft's The Thing Hang on the Doorstep. Ancient legends of ultimate chaos at whose center sprawls the blind idiot god Azathoth, lawyer of all things, encircled by his flopping hordes of mindless and amorphous dancers, lulled by the thin, monotonous piping of a demonic flute held in his nameless paws. From the Haunter of the Dark. <sighs> worshippers. Among the worshippers in the town of Goatswig that pride Actus obscene rites that involved atrocities practiced on still living victims and else thoughts as conical temple or insects that fled the destruction of their homeland of a guy and bring the temple across the universe with them. Behind the mythos, George. Oishevsky named the non convict snub of Hollyhedra after some gr other great old ones with the great retro snub. Oh, fuck, that's a long name. Aiko Sido Odekahedron as Azathoth. Trey Azathoth, 
Orange Michael and Manuel, lead guitarist American death metal band Warford Angel, named himself after the Ancient One with his own altered, oh, as Zach thought, with his own altered spelling. Thomas Ligotti has started uh, that maybe short or stories make allusions to Lovecraft's as thought, although rarely by that name. A classic example of this story is a classic example of this of this is the story that the Escurial, which portrays an omnipresent avalent creature that he once worshipped by the inhabitants of a small island. The is being slowly infiltrates the life of the story's narrator, uh, first via a manuscript describing its cult. The first recorded mention of As Thought was in a note Lovecraft wrote to himself in 1919 that, si that read simply, As Thought, hideous name. With those editor or Robert M. Price, I guess that Lovecraft could have continued um, by the biblical name As uh, Anothoth, Jeremiah as hometown, and as as, so, a, as a demon and to which a scapegoat was sacrificed, as mentioned by Lovecraft in the Dunwich Horror. For as also points to the a, a chemical term Azoth, which was used in the title of the of a book by Arthur Edward Wade, the model for the wizard Ard F F Ryan in White and Wait in Lovecraft's The Thing on the Doorstep. Other possible inspirations include Name Thought, the ancient Egyptian god of wisdom. Another note uh, Lovecraft made to himself later in 1990 to an idea for a story, a terrible pilgrimage, is secretly in a throne of the our, our daemon and sultan Azathoth. Lovecraft ties this Azathoth on the plot to a uh, germ to Uvatic, a novel by William Beck wrote about a supernatural caliph. But his attempts to work this idea into a novel floundered, leaving only a 500 word fragment. But obviously published, although Lovecraftian scholar Will Murray suggested Lovecraft recycled the idea into the dream quest of Unknown Kadat. Lovecraft mentioned in letters being entranced by the bagpipe sounds of a Syrian and, and later. Price sees another inspiration for Azoth and Ordansi, the uh, Ansani's uh, Ismana Utsashai from the gods of Hagana. A creator entity who made the gods and there are after rested. And that's on his conception, Maniyus Ashai sleeps eternally, lulled by music of a less deity who must drum forever. For if he ceases for an instant, then Mani, which Ashai will sight awake, and there will be a world, there will be worlds or gods, nor gods no more. This oblivious creator god of becoming by supernatural existence is a clear prototype. For as thought, Price argues. See also his family tree, and maybe we can uncheck out the gallery for the people's depictions of as thought. But any way that you would imagine an a being that is beyond conception and is basically a sentient black hole is probably correct because it, it appears differently to everyone. All right, that was uh, as thought from the Cthulhu Mythos, a really scary monster that apparently created the entire universe. Isn't that just swell? And anyway, if you liked the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And if you didn't like the vid, oh yeah, I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> I'll be sure to post some more content for us both to enjoy. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.